What's up Rangers? This is Rick. Welcome back. Rangers, today we are inside, yes, you guessed it, a Mafia Boss Mega Mansion. You read that YouTube title right. That is correct. We are standing inside a Mafia Boss Mansion. I'm going to show you this place from top to bottom. I'm going to tell you the story about what it's all about. So let's put on our exploring hat and glasses and let's explore. Here we go. This story is about a gentleman named Alexander Field and the rise and decline of this mansion. This 20,000 square foot mansion was bought and paid for with cash by Alexander, a member of the Italian Mafia. But of course, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. The crime family were caught embezzling funds with the city, while city workers were getting kickbacks in return. But someone found out what they were doing and threatened to expose the Mafia. At this point, the Mafia was at risk for losing everything. I've done some research and come to find out, Alexander was quoted saying, let's make this man disappear. And the Mafia did just that. They murdered that man that wanted to expose them. Or did he? According to courts and the police, they didn't have enough evidence to back this up. But the man did mysteriously disappear. And on the flip side, they were guilty of embezzling. In return, the house was raided of most of their belongings. Jewelry, massive amounts of cash, and even armor-piercing bullets capable of penetrating tank armor. Everything was seized. The good news? The house is undergoing renovations. The bad news? Whatever happened to Alexander? All right, Rangers, welcome back. So if you know me, you know the routine and you know the drill. I wanna make it feel like as if you were the owner. How would it feel if you were the owner? Coming in through, <laughs> you guessed it, this lion heads door right here. This is the front door, my friends. Look how beautiful. No need to turn around just yet, because this is gorgeous. And now for the final reveal. Turning around, look at this. Y'all, <laughs> I'm telling you, doesn't get much better than this. I am salivating right now. This is so cool. I already turned the power on, as you can see. This place, you see the crown molding up there? Right along there, you have recessed lighting in there around the molding, and plus you have all the lights that are shining right here. It must take a whole power plant just to run this house alone. So we got a couple of issues here. We have the upstairs, we got choices. Over here, to the right, to the right again, to the left, to the left, and to the left again. I wanna start over here on the right side of the house because it is the shortest side of the house. And let's see what we can find in here. As you come inside this room right here, it's loaded with family pictures. Look at that. Mafia boss family right there. What are these people up to? This is a wedding, it looks like. Look at their haircuts back in the day. That's definitely, yeah, definitely a wedding. Oh, cool, look at that. Here's something like a collage somebody made. It's like a Christmas collage. This is so surreal to see this. It's even more crazy. You have all these photos down here. Look at this. That is so many photos to go through. I'm not gonna go through all these. 
but I just want you to get you guys familiar with the family that lived here. Look at that. All their family photos right here. Just hanging out in a box. Some buff guy right there. Look at all this. This must have been maybe their kids. Same thing goes for that guy right there. They had to be their children. Some more children. This is so cool to see all this. Oh, look how old this photo is. That's the oldest photo here, I think. And you have these over here too. That is so cool to see all these old photos. All right, one final look at this. Somebody's baby pictures in here. All right, guys, I know you wanna see the house, so let's go see the house. One more photo I wanna introduce you guys to because I believe, yeah, this was the family that used to live here, pretty sure. Look at that, that's them. The Mafia boss family. <laughs> Step off into this room right here. I already turned the power on in this uh, inside this room too. That's what it looks like with the power on. Look at that. Look at that cool looking mirror right there. Everybody seems like they're having a good time. Oh, look at that. Looks like Donald Trump with the top with the blue tie on. <laughs> Doesn't it? And look at this. That's a cool looking emblem. Look at that lady right there. Let me get a good center of this. Okay, so I wanna get you guys familiar about where I am. We came in through that way. We went around into the picture room and now we're inside this art room or it looks like an art room anyway. Look at that. This is totally unmatched y'all. I love that lady right there. Nice touch. Look at the ceiling, oh my goodness. Look at the ceiling. Kind of takes your breath away, doesn't it? And look at this. You have grapes. You have grape vines right there. And they're like recessed from the wall. So you can actually feel them and touch them. This is just insanity. Look at the colors on the ceiling. You got a little bit of orange, a little bit of pink, teal, Purple, blue, light blue, play, uh, baby blue, dark blue, all that. Velvet. Mmm. Very tasteful colors. I love colors. I don't know what they're going to put here. Maybe like a little charging station, perhaps, for your phones. Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> but it looked like something went here at one time. Oh, look at that. You see the basement down below. You will see that? There's a hole right there. Ouch. Don't fall in that hole, guys. And look, you even have this, I'm, I'm just blown away right now, y'all. And I love showing you guys these mansions like this. And I can't believe this one is abandoned. Look at the fireplace. Isn't that so cool? I guess that's where they put the TV, maybe. Who knows? You do have speakers on the wall right there. So that's kind of cool. Now this is the main lobby. This is where we came in at. That was the front door straight ahead. We got a lot of options, but let's go back in here. I want to show you guys the unfinished kitchen. Massive bay windows. I'm a sucker for bay windows and this does not disappoint whatsoever. Now this, I don't even know if you can turn this on. See, does this work? kitchen on. Well, not really. It goes into the other kitchen. So I'm going to just leave that off for now. But this, this is inside the main kitchen. That is not finished yet. As you can see, this would probably be where the kitchen zinc would be or the uh, stove area. Look at this. The 
the tile walls. This is all recessed. You can feel it's all customized and everything. I like the oranges and the peaches and the glass of wine and stuff. This is so cool. Good Lord. And here's some shelving. Nothing too important there. Um, I'm just keeping the camera rolling, y'all. What is back here? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Oh, this is the pantry space. Look, <laughs> look how massive the pantry is. It goes back here in this corner. Look at, wait a minute. This might be the washroom area. Wait, no, this would be a back kitchen sink. Maybe like a pet room or something where you can wash your pets. This is the pantry. And this looks like it would fold down from the wall for pantry space. I could be wrong. I don't know, really know what that is. What does that say? This area was treated for surface discoloration. Huh. Okay. You got it. Let's turn off the light. We don't need it anymore. Let's see. What is this? Oh, this is the... This is not the real kitchen. Let me see if I can actually turn these on. No, you can't turn them on. Damn it. All right, let's just roll with this light then. I think these lights may be off for right now. This is just a back kitchen. This is not the real kitchen, just a back kitchen. So don't be confused, but this is what it looks like in here. Do not turn on water. This property has been winterized. 331.23. That's kind of current. Stove light's still blinking. All right, let's keep it moving. I don't want to go upstairs yet, and I do definitely don't want to go downstairs yet. I want to save the best part for last. That's what we're going to do. I don't know what this area may be. This actually might be a washroom area, possibly. Who knows? But it's kind of all blocked off right now. Let's dip inside some of these bedrooms and see what's going on. Now, I don't know if these are bedrooms or not, but you could definitely probably use it as them. This mansion is uh, on a main road. So that's the only thing. You can kind of hear everything inside, but it's almost to the point where these windows, you don't hear too much, just very little. This actually might be soundproof windows. Get a look at this front yard. Looks like it's actually about to snow outside, to be honest with you. Just has a gray look to it outside. Got some Christmas trees out there too. Yeah, here's a TV. This is an old school TV. What were they doing with this? Another bathroom. And I would like to turn on the water just to show you that it works, but uh, I don't know if it does or not, but I'm not gonna do that because if I do that, I could possibly break the pipes. I'm not gonna turn the water on. Sliding glass shower door. Now this is the, uh, this is for the guest rooms. Look at that thing. Looks powerful, whatever it is. Very custom looking. All right, let's go back in the main hall. Trust me, it's about to get real, real good. All right, so we're back here, almost to the main hall. This is like the den area. And right here, back inside the main hall, we checked out the right side of the house, but remember, we also have to check out the upstairs right of the house. I'm going to do that after I finish exploring the first floor, because we have still yet to do this room. Now, what is this? Get out the glare. It's like a little beachside community right there. Oh my God. Look at this fireplace, y'all. This is so cool. Look at the emblem. This looks like it could be all marble or stone. Let me see. Oh, that's definitely stone. That's marble. Look at this. Whew, don't bust your head against that thing. 
that's real. That feels like more like a plastic almost. They did cut a few corners in here, but not many. Not to be confused, this mansion is definitely worth millions, that's for sure. Oh, I would even noticed this before, but you have little stars on the ceiling. Little, little stars. Let's go in here, y'all. Get ready, because this is one of my favorite rooms of all time in an abandoned mansion. Here we go. Look at this. Whew, good Lord. Oh, wait, before we go in there, I do want to give a shout out to these cabinets. And this is where they kind of cut corners. You hear that? If it just sounds fake and it feels fake. So you got the best of both worlds. <laughs> so this is kind of almost like a wine bar when you pop it. It's somebody's key fob right there. To what? I don't think this goes to a car, that's something else. Probably the lights cabinetry right there and here is another key fob hmm. there's another cabinet timer in there I don't know what's going on with that look at those lines on the front door do a quick pan wow amazing all right y'all one of my favorite rooms inside of any abandoned mansion. Here we go. I love the color scheme and everything to this room. Let's turn on the power in here. Look at these mirrors. Um, I think this is the power here. One, two, three, four. Look at that. They're all on. Let me do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Wow. The lights come on in like segments. There's not one master switch in this house. It's all like by segments, and that's fine too. Look at this. Look at the walls are made out of. I don't know what that is. I just noticed I need to trim my fingernails, especially this one. Good Lord, they're long. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So to me, this almost like, it looks like Africa over there, like the safari. But this looks like the Roman Empire right here along this wall. And that's definitely Rome. Or maybe even Greece. This wall is kind of the same thing too. Look at that. The horse and buggy and everything like that. The lions over there and the tigers and stuff. This can almost be like an entertainment room, maybe, like a game room. You got the fireplace right here. I wonder if we could turn that on. Maybe not, it's not hooked up. There's a lot of stuff in this mansion that's kind of off the wall right now and not working. Sliding glass doors. This is what the outside looks like right here. Beautiful, beautiful looking outside, good Lord. There is a huge dumpster outside for whatever reason. They might be cleaning stuff out of it, but who knows? Look at how beautiful that looks. Oh, I wish I could have this room so bad in my house. It's so cool. I love it. Uh, can somebody buy me this house, y'all? <laughs> Actually, even if I had the money, I'm pretty simple. I promise you, I will never buy a house like this. It's just too much house. Like, I can appreciate the artwork that, you know, went into it, but it's just too much house. Way too much house. I don't even think I would enjoy myself in here alone. I would be comfortable with about maybe like a 1,500, 2,000 square feet house like my house is right now. And that's all I need. That is all I need. Guys, let me ask you a quick question. Do you feel like it would make you a better person if you owned a bigger house? I don't know, leave it down in the comments. You let me know. One thing I don't understand about this room is you have this old school Honeywell thermometer on the wall. Something tells me that this mansion looks older than what it really is. I don't know for sure, but I guess I'll look at the history and find out. Let's turn them off. One, two, 
three, four. Little mini attic area that I found almost in the same spot of where that room is with the murals. Look, you see it right there? That's the Muriel room. If you go in this room, you find like a miniature attic. I don't think this is the real attic though, but it could be. Look at the ladies' blouses. Ooh, this is, whew, what brand is this? I'm curious. P-R-A-M-O. I think these are all Italian brands. R-A, L-A, I don't know what that, H-A-N-R-O. I'm not familiar with clothes, y'all, but I'm sure the ladies are. Help us all out, y'all. Look at that. Kenneth Bernard, New York. These look very expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this, now this feels, this feels like money here. This definitely feels like money. All these little nightgowns and stuff. What is going on up there? Let's check. I don't wanna leave anything untouched. It's cold up here. Oh wow. Oh, nothing is up here, doesn't seem like. No. This isn't the real attic. This is like a little miniature little attic here. You have yet to find that, or even if it has a real attic, I don't know. Back inside the main lobby. What does this room go to? Oh, this is basically, it looks like just a bathroom. That light does work. And this is more like a bullshit room. Not too much going on here. There's somebody's foot cast. Not too much going on. Let's turn it off. What is this? The toilet. Guess we can get another look outside, see what's going on. Beautiful. Good gracious, that's beautiful. All right, guys, here we are entering the left side of the house. Believe it or not, this is an elevator, but it doesn't call yet. It doesn't come up because it doesn't work properly. And the door doesn't even open for your safety and their safety. But it will come up if you call it once this house is done and complete. Now this looks like some prestige looking uh, furniture and boxes, perhaps. What does that say? Mm -hmm. I think that might be furniture. And then this is one of the bedrooms. It stinks back here, kind of. I don't know why. Maybe something might have crawled in there and died. Yeah, this is definitely one of the kids' rooms in here. I do see Thomas the Train right there. with a whole bunch of stuff that is in here. What the heck is that? Wow, think and talk Spanish. Oh, I guess they want to learn Spanish, so here we are. Another beautiful look at the outside. Look at the, look at the gate. I can't believe they just left it like that. So that gate's closed, but if you scroll along here, that side, the whole gate is knocked down. Why? <laughs> this is totally knocked down. Let's turn these off. Let's go right past this room right here. This is a big house, y'all. It's gonna take a little bit, but I appreciate you guys sticking around with me. I love showing you. Now, what is up with this room? I love this room. It reminds me of something out the 70s or 80s, possibly. Look at the wallpaper in here. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's probably been in a house since they moved in here, but then moved out. For whatever reason, I'll do the history and let you guys know what I find with the history. But we do have our Christmas quota decoration met. And what is this? More bulbs. Nice look at the bathroom. Beautiful bathroom. 
So back on the left side of the house, about to be done with the bottom floor. Let's keep it moving. There is one thing that I do not like about this mansion. If I had to nitpick one thing, the left side of the upper mansion is like segmented off from the right side of the upper mansion, meaning you have to come down the stairs in order to access the right side of the house on the upper floor, if that makes any sense. But let's do that, because that's what they went with. I don't appreciate it. I am triggered by that, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. This is a crazy looking mansion. This is beautiful, I love it. And look at that, before we go up the stairs, let's appreciate the artwork. Looks like Adam and Eve right there, maybe. I love the murals in this house. Look at the wrought iron gate, the stairwell. All right, guys, meet you on the flip side. So guess what? We just made it upstairs, or I just made it upstairs. But you guys are coming with me. That's why I always say we. We, we, we just made it upstairs. I have yet to get to that part. I have no idea what that is. <sighs> Look how nice. See, that's what I'm talking about, the recessed lighting in here. It goes all along the wall on the upper ceiling. Look at that. Even if you look close, the, the ceiling looks kind of like 3D-ish. Like it's got designs and stuff in it. It's like where a TV belongs, but not really, because you have that big doorway in the way. Where did they put the TV? I have no idea where they would put a TV in here. Probably nowhere. I think this was used as for just a lobby area, just for whatever reason. All right. So here we are. Walking up the second floor. Just made it up the stairs. Wow. Now remember this room, guys? We were down there. We started down there in that room, sort of. Now we worked our way up to the second floor, and this is what we see. Remember Donald Trump with the blue tie, blue striped tie? <laughs> remember that art piece? Look at this. This is cool. Wow. This is just too much to take in. Wow. I'm lost for words. Look at that chandelier. It's small, but it is effective. That's what she said. Giggity. <laughs> I had to throw that in there, y'all. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the flowers on here. Look at that. Beautiful. I still can't get over this mirror. It's like one of my favorite mirrors in here. It looks something like out of the 80s. Like it reminds me of like Max Headroom or Max Headspace, something like that. Remember that ca uh, cartoon character? I think his name was called Max Headroom or something like that. Kind of reminds me of that same style, except without a face. Beautiful. Now I already turned the lights on in this area too, but I'll show you what they look like when I turn them on and off. So let's do that. Let's see what this does. Does this, hold on. Oh, actually, that light, that lit the back area. Let me see. Turn them off. Turn them back on. Look at this. I want you to see how this thing lights up. Turn it off. On. Wow. Got a little light issue over there. That one's flickering, probably on it, whatever. I actually forgot how you turn these lights on and off. It's somewhere in this house. I'm lost, honestly. It's so beautiful up here. I don't want to leave this spot. This is like a little sniper's bird nest. Whew. Great, great, great. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, here we are. Look at that. This almost looks kind of evil. Like that is a, a demon, because he's got the horns. And that's just a lady chilling against the tree. What well, looks like some Chinese cherry blossoms. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Let's, let's just roll with that, y'all. It just looks cool. <laughs> I want that in my house. It is quite cold in here, so I'm 
very much bundled up. Got a heavy jacket on, thermals, this piece right here, sweater. Got the whole nine yards going. Look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, let's, let's press it. One, two, three, go. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, look how big the shower is. You could, li look, look at this. You could literally just walk in here. Look how big this is. Uh, of course, I'm gonna turn the faucet on, but you have that right there. That's really cool. Big old shower head. Let's turn the power off now, because you just get the gist. Leave that off. Kind of like it better with the lights off. It just adds a different color to the camera and comes out better on film. But look at that. Isn't that cool to see all of that? It's like a little lady right there blowing the flute. Dick. Nice jacuzzi tub on point. Of course, this house has been winterized. You cannot turn this on. Although I'm very tempted, I'm not gonna do that. Here's a bottle of incense. That's probably why it smells so good in here. What flavor is that? Let's smell it. Doesn't really smell like anything anymore. Just found these switches. Where did these go? One. Oh, it goes in here. What about this one? It also goes in here. Let's turn it off. It's loud. And you got this room right here. Where do these switches go? Lights on. Oh yeah. Look at that. On. Off. This is one room we haven't discovered yet. Now this is just a plain looking room. I'm not gonna spend too much time in here. I'm just trying to get you guys familiar with everything in the house. It looks like they just packed up, threw everything away, and just left. Like, they didn't need this stuff at all. Sorry if I'm looking out the window so much, y'all. I love the outside of this house. <laughs> it's so nice. And look at that. You had, like, a little fountain right there. Or it could have been a fire pit. No, nah, I think it was a fountain. This is the front. We're getting inside the master bedroom. I know it's the master bedroom because the light switch was labeled as master bedroom. So let's go inside of it. Uh, again, we got recessed lighting. All that recessed lighting up there. We got more of this. You can hear the lights warming up. They're like cracking. You can't hear it on film though. Turn it off. Just turn them off. Yeah, this is definitely the master. Let's keep it moving back here. I think I want to turn these off now. All right, let's go downstairs because I'm saving the best for last. Here we go. But before we do that, I just found a small room with a huge safe in it. Look how big this safe is. You cannot move this thing at all. This thing is here to stay. Jewel vault. Do not close safe. That is a very heavy duty safe. You are not moving that. That is here to stay. To me, something this heavy belongs maybe inside the basement because it's so heavy. Like if these floors ever give way, if it gets soft one day, which it could, this thing's gonna go right through. I'm sure they built it up to code. It's probably not gonna do that, but I'd still probably put it in the basement anyway. I don't know y'all, you tell me, where would you put your safe if you had one? Would you put it upstairs or downstairs? In the detail ascending downstairs look at that you got these little lights down there isn't that cool beautiful all right let's go downstairs give you a quick little glance boom that's the cool room literally the cool room but i want to show you what's up in here first i want to say the best part for last I'm not saying that this is weak I'm just saying it's not as good as what i'm about to show you last now this looks let me see this is a movie theater in here doesn't look like it yet, but this is definitely a movie theater. You know, I can tell all these walls are soundproof. And that's probably where they're gonna put the stadium seating right here. 
and then watch the movies and stuff in this room. Look at the ceiling. Holy gracious. Yo. Insanity. Looks like the electrical room right there. I'm gonna go in there, it looks boring. But one thing I did figure out about this house is this mural. I've already been down here, y'all, but I wanna show you guys. Look at the mural, look how beautiful, right? Look how beautiful that is. You wanna know something? This house in the mural is actually the house we're in right now. Very nice touch. Looks just like it. So you know what? That's it. You can definitely tell because these little columns right here give it away with the little jagged edges they got them in like a V shape. Yep, that's it. But this almost reminds me of something like a pool room, doesn't it? Like you come in from outside having a good time. I'll tell you what, let's peek our head outside, see what's going on with that. Can we do that? Will this open? Hmm. Uh, a little trigger right here. As we're gonna try to get out here in the balcony area so we can see what's going on. But for right now, I'm gonna have to show you what's going on from the inside out because this door will not open. It is jammed, it's stuck. Look at this big old fire pit right here. Now that's a fire pit. I'm guessing it's like a barbecue pit too. You use it for whatever. Look how huge the outside patio is. Good gracious. That's insanity. I love these blinds too, double pane. All right, let's keep it moving. I don't know what this room is for. I've been down here already. I tried to put the pieces of the puzzle together, but let me get a, give a shout out to this tile work right here. I love this. Look at the colors. I want that in my kitchen. That is so cool looking. Y'all see that? So colorful. Now we're gonna dip off in this room. What is this room all about? This looks like a sauna. And it sounds like a sauna too, maybe. But I don't think it is. They do have an air conditioner in this room. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... Almost kind of looks like a Turkish bathhouse, to be honest with you. Sort of, except for the ceilings. Everything else looks like a Turkish bathhouse. Even this archway right here, except for the ceilings. You could definitely tell this is probably used for office space down here. This is, we're inside the basement right now, if you haven't figured it out. I could tell that by the tile ceiling right there. This had to be used for like office space. Now what is side this, this looks like an office. Is there a light switch? It's very dark in here. Let me see, what does that say? Basement lights, it's already on in Janet's office. That didn't do anything with this. Nothing, nope. All right, y'all, we're gonna have to explore this room without power, but at least I got my trusty light on today. Isn't that something? Look at this. Is that the house? No. That actually might be the river in the back. Actually, it kinda looks like the river in the back right now. Yeah, maybe I can go outside and show you. Looks like they like to read a lot. Now, usually inside these houses, y'all, they always have secret passages in rooms that look like mahogany or cherry. So if I push on one of these walls, you think it would open? I don't know. Let's try it out. Does this one open? No, there's got to be a secret hidden passageway in this house somewhere, y'all. I don't know. Is it in there? Hmm. You tell me. Or maybe I found it. I'm just not going to tell you guys. Because then you would know the secret. <laughs> yeah, I think they did use this spot for an office because that's a HP printer right there just chilling. What is, whose house is this? Yeah, it's somebody's house right there. It looks beautiful. Looks older, but beautiful. Maybe that might have been their original house. Hmm. And also looks like to me, they like to plant and cook. Look at that. Yeah, these are all like cookbooks. Well, most of them anyway, except this side. Science Wonders of America. All right, let's keep it moving.
still in the basement. Don't know what they gonna, bleh, don't know what they're going to use this room for, but we can only imagine what they would use it for. Maybe a spare bedroom. That's what that looks like. Maybe. You could really just use this room for anything. Yeah, you could tell this is a guest room. Look at this. Yep, we got a bathroom down here. That is so beautiful. Wow, look at this. I love that. It's like a woman holding a fan right here. That is so pretty. I like all that. What's this feel like when you open it? Oh, that is nice. Kind of a small shower though. Very small, but very nice. All custom done. And here we have a look at the garage. Oh, that just turned on when I walked in here. Wow, this is a <laughs> massive car garage. Look, you can fit one, two, three, four, five, at least 10 cars in here, I'm gonna say, at least 10. Cause you could pull like maybe two or three of them up in here, right behind each other. Christmas decor. Foot Joy. These look like grass cutting shoes. Reebok. I hear church bells outside. Y'all hear that? Sounds pretty. There's really nothing down here at all. This is like a, this is the garage, but it's also kind of like a junk room too. Wait, what is back here though? What is this? This doesn't make any sense. You have a bathroom down here in the garage too? This place has probably like 20 bathrooms so far I've seen. Yeah, you got a bathroom in here. It stinks down here though. What the hell is that smell? It smells like, I don't know what that smell is. It doesn't smell like gas, but you would think. No, I don't know what the hell that smell is. Hmm, it smells like more like chemicals than gas. They don't have anything in here, it's just trash. I'm trying to figure out, I'm still in the garage. What are these things for? Oh, I get it. I totally get it. When you pull a car in here, that's reinforcement because you don't want to run into the air conditioning system because the air conditioning system is right there would damage it heavily. This would stop all that. Look at these huge bolts down here. That's exactly what that's used for. <sighs> Let's keep it moving. Looks like a shower room, maybe. No, maybe it's not. I don't think this is a shower room. Again, another room that just doesn't make any sense. What the heck is that? Oh, I thought there was a syringe. Another bathroom down here. Bathroom, bathroom zinc. All right, y'all, here we go. Saving the best for last, because this is what we do here on this channel. We save the best for last. Wow. This is what I call a pool room. But hold on. Do we have, do we have power? Here we go. On. Oh yes, we got power, my babies. The power is running and it is on. Like Donkey Kong. Look at how beautiful that pool is. I mean, it looks like trash now because the, the water's green. I'm staying a little bit too close, hold on. <laughs> Let me get back. Look at this pool. You know what's cool about it? There's a nice touch. That's Ariel. Ariel, the little mermaid. And look, she's got a little starfish in her head. And look at that. A clam, clamshells for bras. <laughs> this leads to outside, wait a minute. Wait, I thought this place didn't have a pool on it. Oh, I get it. Okay, so it's only an indoor pool. Like somebody told me there was a pool here, but they didn't say if it was outside or, in, outs, outside or inside. It's inside. Okay, now it makes sense. I was actually confusing this with another mansion. But look how cool this is. This is an awesome room. So it's an indoor pool. But you do have these skylights. Not many though, so you can't get a tan in here whatsoever. Look at that. 
We got looks like a little St. Joseph statue right there praying over the pool. And look how they did this. Looks like a jungle in here. Well, the plants and trees and the stone and stuff looks real. Very realistic. You got an old school looking TV in here with a VCR and a nice looking fireplace with 10,000 remotes attached to it. <laughs> Look at this. This is beautiful. This is so cool. This is what the outside looks like from the pool deck. Um, that is the barbecue area right there where you have barbecues and whatnot. The kids coming in and out these doors right here, wreaking havoc, probably slipping on the floor, busting all their face on the concrete. Good times, y'all, good times, but I could see it happening right now. This floor is kind of slippery. They got some kind of film on it or something. But look at this, such a beautiful area in here. Wow, I cannot even now look at this, attention to detail. Got a couple of dogs here swimming in the sea or the ocean by the beach. Look at that one. He's just like, hey, what's up? Now we got this section over here. Oh, got a diving board. That's kind of cool. Let me give a shout out to these plants over here because I really dig these plants. Look at that. A real stone right there. That's what it feels like. Shine the lights on these plants real quick so you get a good view because that's what's up. Wow. Look at the ceiling. It's amazing. Now what do we have back here? Looks like absolutely nothing. Ooh, it stinks back in here. Ooh, it stinks like chemicals in there. Almost like chlorine. Nothing's in these cabinets that don't look like. Nope. Nope, nope. All right. Well, that's it, y'all. I finished off with the best room for last, and that is it. I love this place. I really don't want to leave, but I have to. All right, so getting a quick look at outside. <clears throat> Here's what it looks outside. Yep, that is the picture that we saw of the bridge. It's actually in the backyard. How beautiful is this? Look, this is a down shot of the barbecue pit area. And it wraps around all the way around the house. Look at this, this is very cool. Goes all the way over there. What is down here? Yeah, nothing, but still cool nonetheless. Very beautiful. Look at that. That is that picture. It's cold. Make this quick. I'm gonna get downstairs. You guys are coming with me. And I'm filming the backyard right now, going down these steps as I'm walking out. Let's be careful, because we don't want the neighbors to know we're here. Oh, I hear a dog. That's not a good sign, I hear a dog. He's probably gonna wrap me out. One last glance at this area, beautiful. Let's go to the front. This is what you call a mega mansion. This is absolutely beautiful. Let me zoom into the fine details out here too. I hope y'all like this video because this is a lot of hard work getting out here. But even if you don't, that's still okay with me.